Welcome to my first design vlog. I'm Janine from Knits and Knots. I design knit and crochet patterns. I have a book out called Modern Crochet Sweaters. I'll put a little picture of it here. And I thought I would try something new today, which is take you along as I design a new pattern. I already have the idea. It is gonna be called the Quail Ridge Tee. I have the Quail Ridge Poncho that came out last month and I absolutely love the neckline of it. I actually started already, so this is what I got. If I hold it up, it would be a very fitted top, which could totally work. Actually seeing this, now I'm like, oh, this could be a super cute tank top idea where if I were to just even continue the honeycomb cables straight up and then do all the shaping in the stockinette portions. But that can be a project for another day because today I want to make this oversized boxy tee. My mind is set on this and that's what I'm going to try to make. So even though this looks really nice, it's not what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to rip it out and add more stockinette stitches to the side. Hopefully that will give me the nice boxy fit that I'm going for. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know if I'll end up posting this video. I've always wanted to share my design process. I love watching vlogs. I watch knitting vlogs, crochet vlogs, design vlogs, reading vlogs. And you know, if people can make reading vlogs entertaining, hopefully I can make <laughs> this design vlog entertaining. And hopefully it's not too cringy, it being my first one. I kind of told you already what I'm going for. A boxy tee with the same v-neck shape as the poncho and short sleeves. Just a nice closet staple. I am using Line Brand Pima Cotton, which I absolutely love. If you've never tried this yarn, you need to. It is affordable, so soft, doesn't split on the needles, and feels breathable when you wear it. I just love this yarn so much. I hope it doesn't take me too long because I do have a deadline for this project. So I'm going to do my best to film some clips as I design this and kind of take you along with me. Hopefully I don't have to redo a lot or rip out a lot and it just works on the first try. I don't know where this video is gonna go. We'll see what it becomes. Okay, so here's a little update. I'm working on the left front. Since this is the same v-neck situation as the Quail Ridge Poncho, I pulled up that file and I made all the text gray and I'm going through it line by line to recreate the same neckline shape. And every time I work that line and it's correct, I make it black so that I know, okay, I've done this, we're all good. And uh, I put the other side on scrap yarn while I work this side. And I also cast off some for the underarm so there will be less bulk in that area once once you have the, the body and the sleeves attached and you have your arms at your side, there won't be as much fabric bunching there. So this should create a really nice fit. I'm hoping I, I'm hoping I cast these stitches off or put them on hold at the right time because now the sleeve depth is pretty much like, I can't really do anything to affect that besides making this part taller, you know what I mean? Like these are done here, unless I do some sweater surgery. But yeah, so we'll see if that's the right depth for the sleeve, I don't know. So I, I only worked up until here and then I put these stitches on hold. And then after working another eight row repeat, I think is what I did. Then I did the V-neck stuff. So the sleeve opening will be like slightly lower than the V-neck. I think that's what I want. Hopefully I don't have to rip back because I really, well, no one wants to rip back. I really don't want to rip back. <laughs> but yeah, here's uh, what she's looking like. I love this honeycomb pattern so much. showered, I got my coffee, and I'm ready to start this project again. But I'm at a part where I'm like, do I keep going with what I've got or do I rip it out and fix what may or may not be an issue? Like, I don't know, I'm a little, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do here. I'll show you what I've got. So I finished the front left. I'm loving, 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 loving the depth of the v-neck. I think this is perfect. It might look a little low, but it's gonna have like a ribbed neckline on it anyway, so it, it won't be quite this low. But I think once that's worked, it'll be perfect. Um, but now what I'm worried about is I cast off or I put some stitches on hold here for the underarm 
and it just is looking like that's a really big sleeve <laughs> like this will be a little too low so my options i think are to rip out this whole part and raise this section up a few inches or what i'm thinking of maybe trying first is taking this part here there are a few rows right here that are just worked straight without any decreases so i might just rip these out and then work them as short rows so like work across turn work across to a shorter stitch count turn work across turn so that basically it's like this you know so the neckline side this edge would stay exactly the same but this side would be like a little bit shorter if it still seems like it's too large I could reinsert my needles here and work a few rows I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do because I find that I'm always when I'm working on sweater sleeves I always make them pretty fitted and then afterwards I'm like mm, that could have been a little bit bigger but as I'm making it, it seems too wide and I make it smaller and then afterwards I'm always like that could be bigger so I don't know I'm really overthinking this I think I'm gonna try this short row thing see how that goes and then I'll let you know hi okay so I ripped back to the underarms because I think the sleeves were just gonna be too big. I just have that feeling I don't wanna waste any more of my time by trying to salvage something that I think like isn't quite as good as it could be. So we we ripped back. And that's okay. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna work across the full row for I think one more eight row repeat to get me to the point of the v-neck depth so it'll be like the exact same v-neck depth as the last version but i'm not going to put these stitches on hold bless you bless you bless you but i'm not going to put these stitches these underarm stitches on hold until the left front or left front so yeah i'm gonna try that basically if this was the armhole before now it'll just be like this it'll be a little smaller and it should fit a lot better because since this is kind of like a boxy tee the sleeve will hit like you can't tell because i'm wearing this massive sweater but if here's my actual underarm the sleeve's gonna hit kind of further down here where your arm is even smaller than it is over here so like i just i don't want it to be too big we're gonna go with this and see how it turns out my goal is to get it at least back to where it was i'm hoping to finish the left front and we'll see how it fits so that's what we're doing today just knitting, re-knitting, knitting the same stuff that we already knit. Doesn't feel like progress, but it is. Okay, it's a new day. I haven't had that much time to work on this project the last couple days. We've had company and there's just been always something that I have to do. But now I've got a good chunk of time. I think I have like three hours Matt's golfing. It's just me and Jack here. So I'm hoping to make some progress on this piece. So here's the center where the v-neck will be and I moved these underarm stitches higher. So before they were like below the v-neck, now the v-neck is here, and then I bound off once I was like about here. This feels a lot better, I think this will work, but we shall see. So here's what I got. I'm liking it so far, and let's get to knitting. I'm not sure where we left off last, but this is where we are now. So I've joined the back neck and started the cable pattern here. Here's what it looks like. And it will have a it will have ribbing here, so this won't be as deep and it will sit sit back a little bit. Here we've got the underarm. Looks like it's in a much better spot. And again, it's hard to hold it in the right spot right now, but it'll be kind of like this. It's curling a lot. Once it's blocked and seamed together, it'll be a nice wide boxy tee. Hopefully that's the goal. So it's got ribbing and then our honeycomb and then split for this front. Put these stitches on hold, split for this front. And then you work one row by casting on, like you work back across this, cast on stitches for the back neck and then pick up these stitches again. And then you work all as one piece. So once I'm done, it'll basically be a giant rectangle with this triangular section in the middle and this edge coming out. Once I'm working down the back panel and reach the same spot, I'll cast on a few stitches so that it matches the front, obviously. Seam it all together. And then I'll pick up stitches for the armholes and knit that. So that'll probably take me a couple tries too to get the right 
sleeve circumference and the right sleeve fit and then you pick up stitches around the neckline kind of the same way as picking up a sleeve with a really pretty mitered v-neck so that means all the stitches end up going in you'll see what i mean and i think this is my third ball that i've joined i mean they're small pretty small skeins but i mean that's pretty good i feel like maybe i'll need five maybe six depending on the type of sleeve that i make i don't know we'll see new day I woke up determined to get the sleeves finished on this thing today so I am going to spend the day designing the sleeve figuring out how I want it to fit and hopefully complete the first sleeve and maybe even the second sleeve I am giving myself two days for the sleeves because I have a baby and you never know stuff takes longer now than it used to so let me show you what it looks like on okay nope so here she is, nice boxy fit, just like I wanted. And then the sleeves, maybe to like here, just a little short guys. I'm sure that'll be pretty simple. It'll just be picking up stitches here on the back, the underarm, and then just a few decreases, like nothing crazy. I did block it before seaming it, just because in a material like cotton that might and will stretch out a little bit with blocking, you don't wanna seam it and then block it because once you work your seam, if you block it after that, your fabric will stretch, but your seam will not, depending on how tight you do that seam. So like really, if you want to do things correctly you would want to block your fabric first and then seam it after because then your fabric is the size it's gonna be you'll know that your seam will look nice and neat because there's nothing worse than having your fabric seamed and then the fabric stretches but the seam is rigid we don't want that I'll give it a nice steam block too because I use pins to block it and not like a blocking wire or anything else so there are some spots where the pins pulled the stitches a little bit so I will do a quick steam block once it's all done yeah okay let's get moving So today is photo shoot day. I wove in the ends this morning while I watched some baby cartoons with Jack. My sister's coming with me to a studio that I have booked. We are bringing my baby also and we're gonna get some pictures of him. Anyway, this one is like something that I will wear all the time. I love it. Just like last month with my Sylvan yoke. Um, that one is also very me. So lately I'm trying to make stuff that really feels like me instead of just making something for the sake of making something and then having it sit in my closet for literally years, <laughs> which happens. All I have to do now is pack. Packing for a photo shoot is one of my least favorite things. I don't know why I hate it so much. I just, I just hate doing it. I don't know how much I'll um, show you when we're there. I think we'll pretty much be rushing most of the time since I did not book more than an hour. I know that sounds like so much time to take pictures of something, but since I have two things to take pictures of and Jack to tend to, he, uh, he usually sleeps the whole time, but since we want to get some pictures of him after, I just, yeah, it goes by so freaking fast.
I think it went really well. I think they look good. I haven't edited them yet. I'll put my favorites here and the pattern is out now for you. Not for me yet, still working on it. Yeah, it was a fun time and I get to spend time with my sister, so that's a bonus. I guess I still need to show you the full thing. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and it's right here, <laughs> crumpled up. That's how I take care of my stuff. Yep, oops. She's all done. I absolutely love this piece so much and I hope you do too. The pattern is out now and I will leave all the links to the Etsy listing, the Ravelry listing, my website, and the Lion Brand kit, which you can also pick up now in your desired colorway. There are this many colors to choose from. I'm sure you'll find one you love. So the pattern comes in nine sizes. You can get all the sizes from extra small to 5X which would fit a 28 inch bust all the way up to a 62 inch bust. In the photos, I'm wearing a size large. Yeah, I, I hope you liked watching this vlog type content. I've never made anything like this before. Can you just stop walking around, please? I've never made anything like this before, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Editing took me. <laughs> It took me so long to put this video together because it was my first time using my editing software and I had to Google how to do almost everything. So it took me a long time, but not bad for a first try, right? I think it's, it's not bad. I really loved doing this. I'm a thousand percent gonna do it again. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, maybe just like don't tell me because I'm a sensitive, sensitive lady. If you like this top, please go grab the pattern. I'll even leave a little discount code for you in the description if you wanna check it out. And if you have any other video ideas that you really wanna see, let me know that too, because now that I've done one like this, I have all of these ideas just floating around and a million things that I wanna try. So let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye.